Batting against swing bowling can be a very daunting task, specifically when the ball is hooping miles and coming at decent pace. So in this video, we'll be covering five tips and some drills that will help you survive and score more easily against swing bowling. First things first, tip number one is using your crease. It is the exact same as when playing against spin bowling. You want to either play the ball before it swings a lot or after it has swung. And we can do this by adjusting where we are standing relatively to the crease. If we stand further outside of the crease, we can try and play the ball before the majority of the swing happens. Conversely, if we stand further back in our crease, we can play the ball after the majority of the swing happens. This one is very player dependent. Some players like option one and others like option number two. So make sure to go test it for yourself against some swinging deliveries. Another awesome side effect of you playing with your starting position at the crease is that you can throw the bowler off of their rhythm and possibly get some loose deliveries that you can crunch away to the boundary. Tip number two would be to play as straight as possible. When we play straight against the swinging ball, we give ourselves the best possible chance to get bat and ball as you have the full face of the bat available to make contact with. As soon as we try to play squarer with a straight bat, we open ourselves up to getting caught in the slips or the gully region. This is because we generate a massive angle between the bat and ball that completely reduces your margin for error. Secret tip number two is to aim for mid on or to the leg side of the opposing wickets, specifically when we are facing away swing bowling. This gives us the best possible position and bat angle to play the delivery successfully. A drill to help us focus on playing nice and straight while showing the full face of the bat is the check drive drill. How it works is you set two cones in the V out front. The throw is going to throw nice and full. You're going to step to the ball, hold a defensive shot at contact, and then let the hands extend through after that towards the V. If you cannot hit the ball in the V and the ball's too wide, force yourself to leave because it's training us how to play a swinging ball. And if you have enjoyed this video thus far, please leave us a like, that would be great. Tip number three is to play the ball as late as possible. When we look to play the ball late, we give ourselves two main advantages. The first one is that we aren't reaching for the ball and because of this, if the worst happens and we do nick off the ball, it has a high chance of dropping short of the slips, possibly giving us another life. The second main advantage is that we're able to watch the ball the entire way. By watching the ball the entire way, it gives us a chance to do small adjustments if necessary. The whole point of playing the ball late is the added consistency and safety. An awesome draw to help us focus on playing the ball nice and late is to set up cones about two meters to two and a half meters in a semicircle around you and you're going to look to play and hit the ball so it bounces before those cones. This ensures that the contact's late and that you're hitting with a full face to get the ball down. With this you can either use the depth of the crease or come out of the crease finding what feels more natural for you and finding out that you can actually do both and use it in the situation that demands it. Tip number four is to not play at unnecessary balls and knowing where your wickets are. Leaving well has always been a big part of any top order batter or batter that needs to be able to play swing. This goes hand in hand with knowing where your stumps are. Ideally, the deliveries we want to leave are those deliveries that we aren't comfortable playing that doesn't have a chance of hitting the wickets. We've spoken about it before. Always look to play deliveries in this order. Look to hit a boundary. If you can't do that, try and rotate strike. If that's not possible, look to leave and if you can't do that, then we look to defend. Leave will always be above defense, as it is simply that much safer, as there's no chance of nicking off. Since we're speaking about leaving, an awesome draw to help you with this is what we like to refer to as our top order leaving draw. It's where the thrower throws and tries to attack a tight channel on off stump, and the batter needs to leave if it is missing the stumps, and only play when it is on the stumps. Again, when the ball's on the stumps, you are looking to score and leaving everything that's missing. Do this with strikes. Once you get three strikes, you rotate the batters. Tip number five bounces directly off of the last point, and that is to capitalize off of the bad ball. Most batters get completely mentally swamped when they see some big swing on the ball, and although a swing in delivery does make time in the ball more difficult, it should definitely not hinder your approach as a batter to score runs. Always look to score. When we look to score, we get ourselves into the best possible position to play that specific ball. Along this train of thought, when you do go off roll, make sure you completely commit to it. When we commit, we have a higher chance of getting away with it compared to when we play half-hearted shots. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you did enjoy. A massive thank you to MRF who sponsor us and also to all our members that assist in making these videos possible.
And if you want to learn how to approach that in practice, check this video over here.